and welcome to another episode of Sam Tries Cooking. Today, I will be returning to the World of Warcraft official cookbook for wild rice cakes. For the horde! First thing you're gonna need to do is make your two cups of cooked wild rice. Doesn't actually tell you how to cook the wild rice, in the directions. <laughs> so in case you don't know how to do that, you put your rice in and then it's two parts for every cup. So we're gonna put four cups of water in. And then heat it up and steam it. You're also gonna need some edamame that is not in the shell. So I'm gonna heat these babies up and unshell them. Luckily, you only need a fourth of a cup of shelled edamame. <laughs> Once you have those two things done, you're ready for the real recipe. As is the occasion on Sam Tries Cooking, I make an oopsie. So you're actually supposed to have two small leeks. I just have green onions. So we're gonna be using that instead of two small leeks, which are supposed to cut in half moon sizes, in case you wanna try it at home. Now take your leeks, leeks, and a half teaspoon of butter and fry it up until it's soft, not brown. Also, if you've seen my show before, you know I have acid reflux, so I can't do certain things. With the leeks, you're supposed to have one clove of minced garlic as well in this frying pan. Then after about three minutes, put in a half a cup of heavy, oh, that's very heavy. I need to shake that. Half a cup of heavy cream. So you're just gonna mix that in there for about another minute and stir until your leeks absorb all the liquid. Or in my case, my scallions. Once you're done with that, add all your ingredients into a bowl. So right now we have our fourth a cup of edamame and then we have our leeks and garlic mixture if you had all the right ingredients. Then add a half a cup of sweet corn, fresh or frozen. Oh no. It's stuck on the heavy cream. One egg. Let's check if it's good first. Yep, yeah, we're good. Then add a fourth a cup of freshly grated mozzarella. Kaplow. Cheese check. It's good. Or bellissima. Now add a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Of course, do not forget to add your two cups of cooked rice, but wait for it to cool. Mine is still a little steamy. It is cooled. Ish. <laughs> the top was cool, the bottom wasn't fully. It'll be fine. Now mix it. Ooh, look at all those colors. Then gradually add one and a half cups of flour until you get a dough density that isn't sticky. <laughs> now take some vegetable oil and put it in your pan. And it's time to fry these puppies up. They should be about five inches across and a half inch thick, it says. And then it says you're supposed to oil your hands too to form the patties. So let's give it a go. Before the taste test, we must have the geeky description. So first of all, if you, this is the first time you are seeing one of my World of Warcraft videos and you don't have this book, 
They always put what level this is and then pairings it can go with. So this is an expert level recipe. And it says makes about 10 rice cakes, which it did. And it takes about 10 minutes to prepare. That's a lie if you're having to bake your rice and unshell your edamame. <laughs> and then it pairs well with the slow roasted turkey, which I can tell you is amazing. I make that every year for Thanksgiving. It is so good. <laughs> but anyway, here is the geeky description. Made in the north of Kalimdor, according to a traditional night elf recipe, these rice cakes showcase all the healthy, earthy goodness of natural ingredients. Ooh. Okay, let's give it a go. <laughs> Smells good. Mmm. It is good. It's nice because it's a little more complex compared to your regular latka or like zucchini fritter. <laughs> it's very good. It's got crunchy, it's got gooey, it's like everything you want in this type of fritter thing. I would definitely make this again. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I would have never thought to put all these ingredients together. So good. Highly recommend you try it. Now I want to try it with leeks. I bet it would taste even better with garlic, <laughs> which I'm sure my husband will sprinkle on later. Don't go anywhere because we got to find it in Kalendor. We probably need an Alliance character because they said in the geek description, we need night elves. So yeah, we'll use my druid. <laughs> Meet Tibli, everyone. This is one of the first characters me and Philip started like leveling up together. We haven't played them in a really long time though. All right, we're in Stormwind. Let's see. Well, you know what? Sometimes wow surprise me. Let's go to a local inn and see if they have it there. Where am I? Oh, let's just try this random trader. <laughs> I have many lucky news for you, Oh, nope, they left. Here we go. Tavern. Whee! What am I? Well, I want to see if you have some wild rice cakes, ma'am. Does not look like it. Well, it was worth a shot. I'm gonna look up on Wowhead quick. It requires level 25 to make it. My character is level 25, but I know her cooking skills aren't that high. Hopefully I can find it somewhere. Maybe I should try the auction house first, but let's see. It says it's in Moonglade, Ashenville, Dark Shore, Ferrell's Winter Spring. Okay, let's maybe try Winter Spring. All right, let's go find a flight path. Wait, can I fly? I think my, this one can fly. Yes, you can! All right. Let's go hitch a ride though from someone else. <laughs> Look at that pretty dragon. Here we go. Me, me, me. Now winter spring, if I remember correctly, is where the gnomes hang out. Hello. Oh, I don't need a flight trainer. Wetlands, wetlands. Oh wait, I saw Tristan fell. That was one of the places it's supposed to be at. Where'd I go? Oh, there it is. Oh, I haven't. I have not explored that area, so we're gonna fly closest to it and then fly over there. <laughs> well, I'm flying. I'm gonna go get the rest of that rice cake. I think I may be flying to nowhere. Oh, this is why I don't play Alliance characters that much. Yeah, because the night elves are across the sea. I just like my moment. Those, that is not the place we want to actually go to. All right. Yeah, it's definitely. Yep. I'm not in Kalimdor. Oh my gosh, I feel so silly. I'm in the Eastern Kingdom. We need to get off at the nearest stop so we can get over to Galandor. All fairness, and while I've been really focused on the trading post right now and my driving character. Yeah, I think the only place I can leave at is at the very bottom, so I flew way out of my way. If I were Horde, I could just 
Malaya from Undercity. My hands feel so soft from oiling them earlier. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I know. All right, let's go back. Actually, you know what? Let's go to, well, where is Stormwind? There it is. <laughs> Flying back now. Since it takes a while to fly, I'm gonna get another one. Back to where we started. <laughs> uh, let's get a dragon. <sighs> let's fly to the Mage Tower and portal into Kalimdor. I think there is a portal straight to like Moonglade. Let's see, where's this one going? Crystal Saw, nope, I don't wanna go to Dalaran. Shadowrack, no. See how much I play Alliance characters. If I was in Okamar, I know exactly what portal I want to go to. I do love the brooms that sweep themselves. It reminds me of Fantasia. Oh my gosh, I don't know which one to do. Had to pull my husband in to help me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where am I? Okay. Well, since we're here, let's just see if someone has it. Let's see. What you do you have wild rice cakes? You do not. Changing angles because my computer died. All right. I need a flight master. Which I believe should be one nearby. I just have to keep going down this path. Wait, there's one closer. Oh, there's one inside there. Nope, not going back in there. Mm -mm. You didn't talk my tongue. Or a panther or a leopard, I don't know. Tiger's up straight, so it's not a tiger. Yeah, I know this place. All right, where's the play plan? I saw it, there it is. Okay. Let's go to... Let's try this place. This is where my dyslexia actually wanted to take us to begin with. This should have it. If not, we'll go into the auction house. This is an adventure. My phone died, so I had to plug in my phone. During that time, I decided to go to the main city because when I read Wowhead, it should be at the food vendor, whose name looks like Delilah. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. Okay. Let's find a food vendor. They're in the Trademan's Terrace area. Alright, let's see who we got here. Are you the food vendor? No. Oh, I've gone too far. This way! Oh, wait, who are you people? Owl Trainer? Food and drink! She's not the name but maybe she'll have it. <gasps> she does! Yes! All right, let's find, let's go eat it on the bridge. Okay, dismount. Right, let's get you all a good angle to see her reaction to the rice cakes. The wild rice cake. Oh, you don't see her eat. Oh, there she goes. I don't know, her face is pretty stern, so I guess she's giving it a four out of 10. Well, if you like this episode, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. And for exclusive videos and content, be sure to join me on Patreon. Link is in the bio below. Bye.